Hi y'all, this is so so blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. How y'all doing? Um, I was tagged in a video by Grace and Grace asked celebrity, could you really handle it? And she tagged me to answer a few questions. And uh, first of all, Grace, thank you for the tag. I love tags. I've been saying this for years. Y'all tag me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so she asked something that I never thought of before. Because a celebrity, being a celebrity, is just like not even on my radar. But I will tell you that I would not mind having celebrity money. And I would not mind having a celebrity platform. Meaning, I want to have a type of um, type of ministry. Um, my, my, my heart desire is to be able to go around and do seminars, um, either solo, talking about um, self-esteem and women's issues and then also um, as a team with my husband being uh, talking about marriage ministry so I love the platform that celebrities have to be able to reach thousands and millions so that's what I would love to be able to bless other people help encourage motivate inspire um, other people but also uh, be blessed by that money too so that I could be a blessing, so that me and my husband could be a blessing to others. Um, anyways, so no, I would not want the celebrity lifestyle. But if I became a celebrity, I know I can handle it. Because you know why? Because first of all, I'm just going to be me. i just going to be me. The paparazzi, the cameras, the TV, uh, media nothing like that is going to change me from being me um, second of all after a while they'll get tired of following me because they'll think my life is just boring now I love my life but by the time they get finished following me going to church following me going out to eat <laughs> following me hanging around with my my family my sisters uh, you know I, I'm drama free I'm drama free so I wouldn't be uh, interesting to follow but um, to answer Grace's questions, number one, she said, if you just got out of work, what if you just got out of work and you mad or pissed off and they go the cameras, paparazzi or whatever, and how would you handle that? And I would basically say, number one, I'm, I'm not, I'm not one who, okay, I'm mad, I'm, I'm upset, and then all of a sudden there's a camera or there are people, you know, are putting on the, the smiley face. Now, I don't put on the smiley face. I mean, I even told my husband, I said, I'm glad you're a good husband. I said, because I couldn't be first, one of the first ladies sitting on on the bench putting on a smile for the people. Uh-uh. Now, if I wasn't happy, first lady ain't sitting there smiling. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so if I was, hopefully, if I'm a celebrity, that means that I'm happy with the job that I have. Or the career that I have, and I have very little to be pissed off about. But if I got pissed off, and then there's the cameras, y'all just go out to see my face telling the story. Uh, number two, um, what if you home and like Gracie, you don't had your beer or something? You know, I don't like beer. I ain't never tasted it before. But you know, you don't had your little something, something. Let's just say a wine cooler um, or a daiquiri or something. And you want to throw some steaks on or whatever. And they go uh, paparazzi jumping out of the bushes, snapping pictures of you. Nah, you know what? Now that's one I would not like. I can handle you if I'm out in public and you snapping pictures or whatever. But no, don't come onto my property. Don't uh, be hiding behind in the bushes. Because I'm telling you right now, paparazzi of a future possible celebrity, I'm married to an OG. He one of them, um, he's a reform thug. But he's going to do whatever it takes to protect his family and his wife. So don't invade our privacy, our privacy and our private time now. Because I'm not responsible for my husband protecting his family. That's all I got to say about that. Okay, number three, you're out to eat. And uh, people coming up to you, talking to you, asking you for uh, for your your. Um, autograph and stuff like that. Um, I can handle it, you know, as long as it's done respectfully and pretty quickly. You know, I will tell you a story. Those of you have, who know um, the past, who have heard of the pastor Zachary Thames, 
who passed away recently and it was a lot in the news about him he's got a local pastor but he's had some celebrity and um, he passed away a couple of months ago and he and his wife Reba were Reba were in um, Red Lobster and I walked up to him and I told him how much I love his ministry and how much it, it blessed me and I just told him I, you know I was like you know it was nice nice to meet you and he, thank you you know for for the word that you put out and it was just quick I mean, it took maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and I was gone on. Now, while I'm trying to eat my food, don't stay there and try to hold a conversation. No, I'm not with that. Uh -uh, don't get in the way of my food. But I don't mind a quick, you know, a, a quick autograph and, you know, talking to you right quickly. Um, number four, rolling up on me at church. What if I'm at church and um, paparazzi or pictures or, you know, whatever. Mm -mm. Don't roll up on me. Now, if you just want to be there and you want to watch, but just don't interfere with my praise and my worship. And then they'll probably take, put pictures out and, and, talk, and, and, and talk about how they're doing some crazy stuff. Because, you know, it looks crazy when we're praising and worshiping God. But it don't look crazy when you're at a concert and you're praising and worshiping Jay-Z and Kanye West uh, and Beyonce. And Lady Gaga, see that don't look crazy, but you know when we in church praising God and giving Him praise and worship, to whom all praises do. Now you know to the media and to people who don't know nothing about that, that looks crazy. So mm, don't don't interfere with my praise and my worship, and 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 don't roll up on me like that in church. You know, and that's one of the reasons why um, I, I, a lot of times I don't film in church. It's like I will, you know, film my husband's sermon, but a lot of times I don't film in church because that's a that's a personal thing when you giving your praise and your worship to God. That's a personal thing, you know. So um, don't roll up on me during my personal time with the Lord in praise and worship. All right, so thank you, um, Grace. I wouldn't, you know, call you Zoe. I'm so used to calling you Zoe Obina, Obina. But thank you, Grace, uh, for that tag. And that was a very interesting question. I never thought about celebrity them <laughs> because that is not my desire but hey that money and that platform yeah <laughs> all right love y'all y'all be blessed